Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal decree 4 of 2023 amending some provisions of decree 69 of 2004 on restructuring the Ministry of Interior based on the proposal of the Interior Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. Under the decree, a new item, number 19, was added to paragraph 1st of Article 1 of Decree 69 of 2004 on restructuring the Minister of Interior, reading as follows. 19. The National Center for Financial Investigation, which includes the Chief Executive Officer with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, who oversees A. The Directorate of Investigation and Analysis, B. The Directorate of Communication and International Cooperation, C. The Directorate of Evaluation and Follow-up. Subsection D of item 13 of paragraph 1st of article 1 of decree 69 of 2004, restructuring the Ministry of Interior shall be abrogated. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 5 of 2023 appointing a Director General at the Ministry of Education, based on the proposal of the Education Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. Under the decree, Suha Saleh Jasim Hamada was appointed Director General for Schools Affairs at the Education Ministry. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gribiya Palace. The cabinet commended the Council of Representatives' unanimous approval of the 2023 to 2026 government program themed from economic recovery to sustainable growth, affirming that close cooperation with the Council contributed to achieving consensus. The Cabinet noted the commitment of the Parliamentary Committee in charge of studying the government program in cooperation with the Government Committee supporting ongoing coordination between the executive and legislative authorities for the benefit of the country and its citizens. The Cabinet further extended its gratitude to the Government Committee for their participation in the meetings and for their efforts in this regard. In the implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Cabinet discussed the steps required to immediately start implementing the priorities, policies and initiatives included in the 2023-2026 to government program. This will be carried out through the development of government projects and services provided to citizens, ongoing tracking of related work plans and submission of periodic progress reports to the Cabinet. The Cabinet then directed the concerned government agencies to follow up on the observations and recommendations included in the 2021-2022 to National Audit Office report and to take the necessary measures to rectify them. The Cabinet extended its gratitude to all the ministries and government agencies that took the initiative to rectify the observations in the previous report and noted the role played by the NAO in strengthening governance to incorporate effective practices. The Cabinet highlighted Bahrain International Airport's success in attaining the five-star regional airport rating certification for outstanding airport services and facilities by Skytrax for the second year in a row. The Cabinet stressed the importance of continuing to develop airport services and sustain national achievements and developments. The Cabinet discussed and approved several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. A memorandum by the Civil Service Bureau regarding the restructuring of a number of ministries and government agencies to improve performance and efficiency. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the regulatory framework for the inter-registration of financial products among the regulators of financial markets in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The Cabinet also reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning regarding developments of the Ministry's housing priorities and developing partnerships with the private sector in housing projects and programs as well as adopting numerous initiatives to facilitate and diversify housing services provided to citizens. In addition, the Cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Tourism regarding the Kingdom's tourism indicators for the period between December 2022 to January 2023, during which many events took place across commercial complexes and hotels. 
The cabinet then took note of the ministerial reports regarding the visit of the Minister of Municipalities and Agriculture Affairs to the United Arab Emirates and the participation of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments in the conference and exhibition for Hajj and Umrah services, Hajj Expo 2023. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, an honorary president of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the President of Bahrain, Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The activities of the Bahrain National Championship and Egyptian bred horses for purebred Arabian horses continued at the Military Sports Union Field in Rafah which was organized by the Royal Federation with the participation of stables and owners. Distinguished performances were witnessed by the championship on its second day after exhibitors highlighted the features and aesthetic of the horses. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his continuous support for the equestrian activities organized by Brief, noting that this support contributes to the continued advancement of the sport of purebred Arabian horses. His Highness stated that Brief is proceeding according to a future vision to continue the prosperity of the sport of Arabian horses' beauty, as it is keen to organize tournaments that contribute to creating the ideal atmosphere for owners and stables to highlight their high capabilities in this sport. His Highness congratulated all owners and stables who won first places in various categories, praising the efforts of the organizing committee. The organizing committee honored the top winners. Upon the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of a brief president, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Bahrain National and Egyptian Bred Horses for Purebred Arabian Horses Championship kicked off at the Military Sports Union Field in Rafa, organized by the Federation. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah affirmed the importance of the purebred Arabian horses shows as they represent the purebred Arabian horse studs in Bahrain that made many contributions to Bahrain's advancement in the sport. He affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's support to the championships is a source of pride for the Arabian horse shows and equestrian sports affiliates in Bahrain. He affirmed his keenness on continuing to organize Arabian Horse Championships for their historical connection to heritage and equestrian sport. The top winners were honored by the organizing committee. The Council of Representatives Speaker Ahmed bin Salman Limsalam met with a U.S. Senator delegation headed by Congress members Jackie Rosen and James Langford in the presence of Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. Limsalam affirmed that Bahrain attaches great importance to enhancing cooperation in all development fields with the U.S. and the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as well as continuous work to increase coordination through the free trade agreement between the two friendly countries. Assal affirmed that meetings between the two councils and the Congress members contribute to exchanging visits and ideas and discusses issues that support progress and development, noting the constructive dialogue between parliamentarians in the two field countries. The meeting reviewed ways to enhance cooperation between the representatives and Shura councils in the U.S. Congress and discussed issues of common interest and ways to support cooperation in the economic and trade fields. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani held a meeting at the Officers a Club with Bahrain's heads of diplomatic missions to brotherly and friendly countries and senior officials at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on the occasion of Bahrain Diplomacy Day. The Minister of Interior delivered a speech on the occasion. <laughs> بالمنجزات الحضارية التي حققتها الدبلوماسية البحرينية بفضل قيمها ومبادئها النبيلة النابعة من التوجيهات الملكية السامية من لدن سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة 
ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه والتي عززت حضور البحرين الدبلوماسي خليجيا وعربيا واقليميا ودوليا وهي تمثل ثوابت السياسه الخارجيه البحرينيه المستمده من الهويه البحرينيه مع مواكبه التطورات والاحداث الاقليميه والتعامل معها بمرونه وحكمه وعقلانيه ونظره مستقبليه وثيقه وفقا لمصالح البحرين وثوابتها الوطنيه الراسخه في اطار انسجام مواقف البحرين السياسيه والدبلوماسيه مع مواثيق واتفاقيات الامم المتحده والمبادئ العامه لحقوق الانسان مشيدا بالدور الحكومي برئاسه صاحب السمو الملكي الامير سلمان بن حمد ال خليفه ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله في تجسيد التنفيذ الواقعي للعلاقات الخارجيه المبنيه على حسن التقدير واتخاذ المواقف السياسية المنسجمة مع التطورات والمتغيرات التي يشهدها العالم وبمناسبة اليوم الدبلوماسي لمملكة البحرين والذي يوافق الرابع عشر من يناير من كل عام أهنئكم جميعا وأشيد بالدور المشرف للدبلوماسية البحرينية ومنطلقاتها الوطنية والعروبية والتي أسهمت في ترسيخ قيم التسامح والسلام التي تتمتع بها مملكة البحرين ولا يفوتني الإشادة بالمبادرة الدبلوماسية لأخي وزير الخارجية لعقد هذا اللقاء الدبلوماسي العام لرؤساء البعثات الدبلوماسية الذي يمثل فرصة ثمينة لتوحيد المفاهيم والمسؤوليات الدبلوماسية لتحمل مسؤولية القيادة الدبلوماسية في الخارج وكما يقول العرب ارسل حكيما ولا توصيه بالرغم من تطور وسائل الاتصالات الحديثة وما وفرت من اتصال مباشر بين الأجهزة المعنية تبقى واجهة التعاون الرسمي هي البعثات الدبلوماسية وإن مسؤولياتكم متعددة الأدوار ولا شك تتحكم فيها طبيعة وحجم التعاون القائم بين البلدين ولكن في تقديري فإن الواجب المشترك والمهم الذي يجب أن نعمل على تحقيقه معا هو كيف نقوم على مساعدة المواطنين في الخارج The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed thanks to Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah for organizing the meeting, which comes in line with the keenness on briefing the heads of diplomatic missions on the Ministry of Interior Security programs and initiatives and their role in strengthening community security as part of its efforts to maintain security and stability. The Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan, delivered a security briefing on the Ministry's strategy to develop and upgrade performance and keen in line with the latest technology. He highlighted the ministry's efforts in achieving security stability and the indicators that reflect this stability. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the CEO of the Information and E Government Authority, Muhammad Al Qaid, the President of the Customs Affairs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the CEO of the National Cyber Security Center, Sheikh Salman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, the Director General of the Verdict Enforcement and Alternative Sentencing, Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Director of the Anti Violence and Addiction program together, Ali Amini delivered briefings on the services provided in the various sectors and the initiatives that were launched in this regard, which contribute to enhancing security and stability and to providing integrated security services in accordance with standards of accuracy, efficiency and achievement.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, attended the celebration organized by the ministry on the occasion of Bahrain Diplomacy Day. The minister delivered a speech in which he conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King for the efforts made by the ministry's affiliates in implementing Bahrain's foreign policy and achieving its goals. He also conveyed His Majesty's wishes of success to them in their diplomatic duties. Zayani said that the ministry celebrates this occasion, which was dedicated by His Majesty the King in appreciation of the contributions of Bahraini diplomacy and the efforts of diplomats, administrators, ministries, affiliates, and diplomatic missions abroad. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for supporting the ministry. Zayani congratulated all the ministry's affiliates and hailed their efforts in performing their tasks and duties. The minister commended the important role played by diplomatic missions abroad led by ambassadors and consuls, stressing that all their efforts are appreciated and followed up by the leadership. He affirmed that the ministry will continue to follow the approach of His Majesty the King and directives of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to consolidate relations with brotherly and friendly countries and strengthen bilateral cooperation in various fields to serve common interests and enhance the Kingdom's position and its regional and international role within the framework of mutual understanding and joint cooperation, and according to international charters and laws. The minister then gave a briefing on the ministry's strategic plan to develop performance, diplomatic work and bilateral cooperation with various countries. He also honored a number of outstanding diplomats and administrative employees. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed Al Kabi, stressed the remarkable recovery in the travel sector after opening borders and easing health restrictions following two difficult years for the civil aviation industry due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The minister revealed the growth of passenger traffic during 2022, which reached 6.8 million passengers, an increase of 128% compared to 2021. He added that the incoming and outgoing air freight operations through the airport recorded 209,621 tons, an increase of 1% compared to 2021. And the transit freight at the airport reached 171,289 tons, recording a remarkable growth of 46%. 
Experts Bahrain signed a memorandum of understanding with the leading Saudi platform for online restaurant delivery, Jahiz, to enhance the access of Bahrain-based institutions to e-commerce platforms by promoting locally made products in the Saudi market. The memorandum aims to enhance cooperation between the two sides by listing the products of Export Bahrain customers on Jahiz electronic platforms. Under the agreement, Jahiz offers exclusive deals to Export Bahrain customers, which will contribute to the growth of their businesses as a page dedicated to Bahraini brands will be created in each of the Jahiz platforms for the most prominent local products in the Saudi market.